Today we will be talking about multiplying integers. We've done this before. You've been doing this probably since third grade. But just to review our basic multiplication and what that really means. Let's look at a problem 2 times 4. So we can look at it two different ways. We can look at it as two groups of 4, which is really 4 plus 4, which is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. We know this. We can look at it on a number line also. We can go 4 and then 4, and we get 8. Two groups of 4. Now, we can also add a negative number in there. What would happen if we did 4 or 2 times a negative 4? So, in others, we have two groups of negative 4. We could turn it into addition negative 4 plus negative 4. So we know this from previous lessons. When we add a negative, we're going to start at negative 4 here and then move 4 more in a negative direction. So that is negative 8. We can also look at it this way on the number line. We have two jumps of negative Four, and we end up with negative 8. What happens if the negative number comes first? What would happen if we had negative 2 times 4? Now, this negative sign also can be read as the opposite of. So what this is saying, it is the opposite of 2 times 4. And we know that 2 times 4 is 8, and we want to take the opposite. So that is negative 8. Now there's one more example. What happens if you have negative 2 times negative 4? Negative 2 times negative 4. The way we can read that is we can have two groups of negative 4, and we take the opposite. So 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, but we're going to take the opposite of that. So that is 8. Now, here are the rules. If you are multiplying a positive times a positive, we are going to get a positive number. That is what you learned back in third grade, because all we knew was positive numbers. If we multiply a negative times a negative, we get a positive number. So, same sign, positive answer. Now, if we are multiplying a positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive, those are going to equal negative answers. So if you have, you're multiplying different signs, a positive and a negative, it doesn't matter if that negative is first or second in order. A positive and a negative are always going to equal negative. Now this is with multiplication. We know with adding and subtracting, there are other issues involved. Multiplication is much easier. The rules are easier to understand. Positive, po positive times a positive is a positive. Negative times a negative is a positive. And you have one of each, it's negative. Go practice.